here's my third video on the series. Uh, okay. There's a couple of things to look for as to whether an outside energy is steering you right or it's steering you wrong. And here they are. Usually, there's two things to look for. One, a sense of control. If you get an impression, let's say a warning, let's say a caution, let's say, oh, anywhere except there, that's awful. That's fine. You will get the... Yeah, I'm going to sound like my year nine uh, home economics class here. It feels blah. God, those people are idiots. I mean, not idiots, just inarticulate. My God, we're describing food. You're supposed to do color, touch, smell, taste. God, anyway, so, like I'm any better for emotions, though. So, hence, you know, if you feel something and it feels awful, you feel like you're greasy, like you're, like it's dripping off you. No. You know, it's... And, you know, something tells you anything except that. Walk away. There's always either an alternative plan or a sense of control with caution, even anger. Even anger can have a good one. It's, however, however, it's going to say, be angry at that and take a solid course of action. This is control. You can have any aggressive, no, not just plain aggressive, any angry, any fearful, any uh, freaked out feeling, yet it's got to have a sense of control. Everyone who I've... It, religious people, psychics, spiritualists, all say that lower dimensional entities lose a lot of their control when they deal with human emotions. When you can feel something dealing with human emotions, like yours, and it's got a sense of control, as in it is not controlling you, as in it is in control of its emotions and it is not freaked out by feeling yours or generating these emotions to guide you, congratulations, you got a good, solid source. Now, as far as... Now, the second one is resonation. People say, oh man, that energy resonates with me. Like, when you're talking about that, I am so there. Yeah, you probably are. So, that's a good thing. If you can feel that you're sort of resonating out of sync with something and it's just not coming into sync, forget about it, leave it, abandon it. It's bad information or it's not bad information, it is information that you don't need now. So don't worry about it. If it's a political message, people say, shouldn't you get in there? And you're just like, I'm just not resonating with it. That's your choice. Follow your heart. Your heart is receiving that information. Your gut is checking it as good or bad resonating, not resonating, and your head is deciphering what your heart and your gut are saying. Good. So, what I'm saying to you here is, if you resonate with something, great, use it. And if you resonate with something and it feels like it lifts you up and it empowers you and energizes you, great, use it, work with it, spread it around. Couldn't hurt, and it's where you're supposed to be. So, essentially, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a sense of control from your spiritual impulses, as in it is in, it no, as in it's controlled the emotion. It has it, yet it's not controlled by the emotion. It is controlling the emotion. And I'm not talking about controlling you by your emotions. I'm saying it has not lost control and freaked out because there's an emotion there. Great. And I'm saying if you resonate with something, if it vibrates at the same speed you do, if you feel it right here, and you're saying yeah, yeah. Great, go with that too. You take, there's a lot of religious people out there and they don't use these same terms. How they might call them angels, they might call them the spirit of God working through them. And I'm fine with that. You know, to me, the name is not the important bit. What is important is what resonates, um, what comes through the heart and resonates with the gut and clears with the mind. Now the mind can become unclear the mind can become controlled. The mind can disregard the good and regard well the bad. It can happen. What I'm saying to you here is try clearing out your mind with simple action. Then feel, then let open your heart to feel things and then let your gut 
uh, check on what it is. But your mind observe what your gut and your heart are saying, and you'll feel better. Do it while you're chopping wood. Do it while you're walking the dog. Do it while you're um, fishing. Whatever clears your mind and gives your hands something to do so you can focus. Anyway, I really think I nailed it on this one, and I'm Ozzy Griffin, hoping this has helped a lot of people.